Our world is always moving forwards, continuously creating and producing new innovative products and technologies. But our modern research and developments extend beyond our latest phone model or the newest medicine breakthrough. Some of the most fundamental research we carry out today focuses on unveiling past mysteries and rediscovering the lives of societies who shaped the world as we know it. From ancient societies, traditions and rituals to places we did not know existed, there are many unanswered questions within our history books. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries that have provided us with a glimpse into human history. Mysterious blobs of dense rock hundreds of miles tall sits deep inside our Earth. Deep beneath the Earth's crust are two massive blobs of rock that resemble a pair of hands cupping the Earth's core. The word massive is an understatement as these formations spread thousands of miles in either direction within the Earth's crust and make up 600 miles of the Earth's 1800 mile deep mantle. Geologists have spent the last four decades trying to determine the source of these gigantic continent-sized formations that have been discovered under Africa and the Pacific Ocean. While some experts have suggested that these are tectonic plate fragments trapped beneath each other, new research points to an otherworldly explanation instead. Yuan, a PhD student from Arizona State University, suggested that the blobs are the remains of a planetary embryo the size of Mars, named Theia, that collided with the Earth in its early infancy 4.5 billion years ago. Yuan theorizes that Theia's mantle could have been several percent denser than Earth's. This theory would explain how it would have been possible for Theia's mantle to sink through the planet's lowermost mantle and surround our planet's core. In 2019, while studying the plumes of hot rock and magma from some Samoan and Icelandic volcanoes, scientists were able to identify several elements that date back 4.5 billion years ago, the time when Theia is suggested to have collided with Earth. While this data does support the collision theory, there is still not enough resounding scientific evidence to support it fully. The resulting impact is also the most popular theory to date about the origins of our Moon. The collision would have caused the Earth's surface to explode into a sea of raging magma, shooting planetary debris out into space that would later form our only permanent natural satellite. Another interesting theory is that when the two primordial worlds collided, their cores fused into a single core, potentially releasing the chemicals needed to support life on our planet. It has also been suggested that these blobs are so massively dense that they contribute to the weakening of our Earth's magnetic field. While the planetary collision is the most popular hypothesis explaining the origins of our Moon and the blobs cradling the Earth's core, scientists have still yet to find enough concrete evidence of Theia's existence. Stone circle dating to the Bronze Age found hidden in the British Forest of Dean. The Forest of Dean is probably one of the most known woodlands in Britain. It lies in the midst of Gloucestershire in the southwest of England. It is a wild and deep woodland, and in that wilderness, a Bronze Age monument has been found with the use of an air laser scan called LIDAR. The monument is known as a ring cairn and is roughly 4,000 years old. The ring cairn is a circular bank adorned with limestone stones and is 80 foot in diameter and 16 feet wide. It is an extraordinarily unique site with only one known like it in Gloucestershire. John Hoyle, a known archaeologist, claims it to be a very significant discovery. Hoyle initially believed the laser scan's data revealed a 1940s weapon emplacement, but after they realized the secret site near the village of Tiddenham was older than they first considered, it became clear they were dealing with something ancient. Hoyle commented, It was very exciting. I was expecting to find quite a lot of new sites with LIDAR, but nothing as interesting as this. The LIDAR technology senses distances with a light laser and is able to analyze what is reflected back at it in order to create 3D models of the landscape and has been commonly used in archaeological findings of lost Mayan cities. 
Archaeologists involved in the project have confessed their lack of knowledge concerning the ring cairn's purpose, though theories suggest them being involved with burials and cremations. Out of a desire to preserve the location from any vandalism, the archaeologists have kept the location secret even now, refusing to exactly explain where it lies as they fear attracting visitors will result in irreversible harm befalling the ring cairn. There is also a potential for illegal treasure hunters to take precious items from the area. Furthermore, Hoyle explained he believes that the rubble bank was the main area of the structure when it was still in use, with the limestones used as standing stones. It is possible that this was a pyre upon which bodies of the departed were ceremoniously burned. However, these structures are rare in Britain and we know very little about their origins. Other places where the ring cairns have been previously found is Derbyshire and Cornwall, both of which are in England, but there have been some ring cairns discovered in both Ireland and Wales. The current leading theory is that one particular community or culture left these behind in their wake as they traversed the British Isles. The truth is out there somewhere, currently unknown to us. We do not know what the future will bring, but it will surely reveal truths of old. As technology advances, we can merely hope that it brings answers. A Million Missing Penguins Imagine you take a trip out to Antarctica for the first time. Apart from the cold that you are anticipating, you also cannot wait to see all the animals in their natural habitat – polar bears, seals, and especially penguins. These waddling, aquatic, flightless birds have always existed in the southern hemisphere in large groups. Upon landing, you finally see the thousands of penguins huddled together. However, you also notice something concerning. Hundreds of thousands of penguins appear to be missing. What exactly happened to the penguin population? That was the same question that researcher Henri Vimerskirch stumbled upon when he was sent on an expedition to take photos of a very penguin-inhabited island called Isla de los Cerdos. Where the land used to be covered in penguins, he eventually discovered that half a million pairs of king penguins and their baby chicks had disappeared. That accounted for almost 90% of the entire colony's population. This was not any small deal either, as king penguins were the second largest species of penguin. To answer this burning question, Henri and his team decided to set upon an expedition to collect samples in the area. When arriving in the middle of the king penguin nesting season, they came across thousands of newborn chicks, but also large areas of empty rock at the same time. After calculating the numbers, almost 67 square kilometers of land that king penguins once inhabited were empty. This quickly became concerning because king penguins were not known to be a threatened species. Scientists scrambled to find answers to predict what would happen next. They decided to carry out an experiment which involved placing trackers on 10 penguins to see if their diet had changed with the researchers theorizing that the penguins may have been traveling to places outside of the island. They also installed night vision cameras to see if any penguin chick predators were nearby. Finally, the researchers also collected features and bones to analyze for possible causes such as disease. After coming up with a bunch of possible explanations and using their evidence to rule out certain possibilities, they finally came up with a conclusion. The root cause of the penguins' disappearance was likely the increased ocean temperature. Because the temperature affected their food supply, they likely had to travel further out to look for food. Not only were the penguins putting themselves at risk, but they also had to leave their chicks behind, exposing them to more predators. Due to climate change, the rising ocean temperature is likely to increase. This is, however, just a theory, and scientists are not exactly sure what the cause for the penguin disappearance on Isla de los Cerdos is. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.